Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's me, Can't Stop a Money, and we are back for the second time today inside the Hyperbolic Reaction Chamber. And this is another reaction to Code Geass. All right. Yes, guys, Code Geass. We, we, this is, I think this is our first time. This is a Double Geass Friday. Yes, we're going to make this a Double, a double Geass Friday, guys. Episode 8. Really got me pull, uh, it really got me pulled thin, so we're gonna keep on going with episode nine today, and just you know, approaching episode ten, and then more on down the line. Oh, we're moving through this. Um, thank y'all for y'all, thank y'all for the comments that y'all leave. Now, I really watching, looking, I'll tell you, I'll say this right now, looking back at my uh, past reactions, and y'all know Nina, looking at her back then. Now I'm really starting to get why y'all hate Nina a lot. She got a big. Just a big fat racist mouth that gets people in trouble, including herself. That I've seen, yeah. I'll keep a lookout for that and help my cursing in for that as well. <laughs> so, yeah, we got that, and I can't wait to see some more of this. Lelouch and the Black Knights. That's his. That's his armed forces. His people. His squad's name. So, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what else he's got for us. So, without further ado, guys, let's get into this. The video will be played right here in this corner. And also, if you want to see the full uncut reaction in its entirety to episode nine, you click the link in the description below to make a good drive where you can see it for yourself. All right, this is Code Geass, La Lucha the Rebellion, episode nine, right now. It's been two weeks since Zero unveiled his Black Knights, but there's still little insight into the man behind the mask. Yes, we're starting the episode off right. They let the hostages yes. Somehow made it to the other shore. Oh. Uh, Colin, I mean miss, forgive me. I didn't wish to wake you. Again? I'm sorry, it was a stepladder this time, it broke. We'll just get it cleaned up, and be quick about it. I have to leave for school. Mistress, you've been attending school quite a bit lately. Making any friends there? I don't see how that's any of your business. Well, damn. Damn, babe. Just go, will you? But I see what she's... I see how, I probably think I see how she's feeling. She got a sticker on, uh, was that her mother? I know. Yeah, like you're not enjoying this at all? Will you hold still? Huh? Good meowing. Good morning, I guess. Huh? What is, what, what is this? What do you mean? Didn't we tell you? It's our welcome party for Arthur. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, glasses are closed at home. We might as well have some fun, right? I set some stuff aside. Well, lie, Millie. Looking, uh... Oh, to make up for all my getting I so approve. upset before. Take your pick. What? For me? She doesn't need a costume. What? You're already wearing a mask, right? Mm. Oh. You really are a riot, you know that? Really? <laughs> you ought to be on television. <laughs> what do you think, Miss TV star? Oh, I thought she meant Lelouch. <sighs> Would you quit Damn, about Shirley? That? The whole thing is a huge pain in the butt. We've been hounded with questions day and night. Even in the bath. We haven't been able to leave school grounds in a week. Are you all right, young lady? <sighs> Why would the masses flock around those who saved Euphemia? Don't tell me. <laughs> Even Kyoto has said that they would send the Black Knights the Gurren Mark II. To those would-be Robin Hoods? They're not part of the Resistance. Killing Kusakabe was proof of that. The Colonel killed himself, didn't he? Well, I hear they didn't try to stop him. In any case, Lieutenant Colonel Toto, we can't let this stand. Huh? Where would you like me to show her to? The parlor, perhaps? Or maybe... We'll be in my room. As you wish. Oh, I heard oh. you had a friend down here. I was sure it would be a boy. Out all night and missing school. Not to mention all your visits to the ghetto. You're lucky your father's back in the homeland. No fighting one's blood, is there? <laughs> You're the one who's enjoying Dad not being around here, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. oh. oh, dear. What have I done? What's wrong with you? Forgive me, milady. Forgive me. Can't you do anything right? Besides selling your body, that is. Oh, wow. Quite the complicated home life you have, isn't it? So my secret's out then, isn't it? That I'm actually an Eleven and Britannian half-breed. That was my stepmother down there. 
Stepmother. My real was that cloud of a maid who knocked over the vase. Oh, well, damn. And your father, is he the head of the stock? Well, damn. Family? My mother is such a fool. In the end, she wound up a servant. She doesn't have any real skills. And no matter who's ridiculing her, all she can do is laugh like it's nothing. I mean, it's not unbearable. Most of the time, anyway. That's good. Still, some things in life we can bear on our own, but when you add them all up, they eventually break you. You are sorry, aren't you? Now in your heads is what you 11s do best, right? 11. Eating bad food really makes us want to off somebody. Lelouch! You know? No, there's five of them. You wouldn't stand a chance at all. So you think I should just ignore it? Go on, take a good look at that 11. Come on, what's the matter? Aren't you gonna cry? Buddy, just say you're if sorry. we intervene and help him win, he wouldn't be able to sell a thing tomorrow. It was his choice to become a Britannian slave. That's just oh. the price you pay for working in the settlement. Well, even so. You got a problem over there? Not feeling sorry for this Eleven, are you? Nah, they feel the same way we do, don't you guys? Not quite. But you're tired of beating up Elevens now, aren't you? Yeah, this is boring. You guys want to hit the arcade? I got no cash. Okay. They got bored pretty quick, huh? Okay. That, that works too. Hey, are you alright? Huh? A Britannian student? What can I get for you? Oh, that's what you was looking at? A nice California hot dog, miss. What do you want to do? Nothing. You know, you've got a lot of brains, but you don't seem to be doing much with them. It's all Shirley talks about, saying how intelligent you are, but how you barely ever apply yourself. That's why I don't do anything. That 11 we saw back there could tell you. He could lead a better life as long as he bows his head to Britannia. Damn. You must think you're pretty cool, huh? Just playing the critic and judging the world from the sidelines? Guess I was a fool to expect anything more from you. You know, I really thought you were a better man than this. <laughs> Damn, man. God. When you add them all up, they eventually break you. That's right, which is why I'm here. Careful, it's dangerous to run like that. <gasps> Mother? <gasps> oh. Really, Naldo, please, I need you to keep an eye on your little sister. Oh, she's God, going crazy. How woman are you, Mother? First you give in to Britannia, then to a man, and now this. My brother is gone forever. Let him go. You're in the way. Damn it. I don't need you. No, don't do that shit. Don't do that shit. Oh shit, jump in, somebody do something! Run! Get moving, you idiot! I'm here for you. I'm here for you, Colin. I'm here, as I always have been. Then that's... That's why you stayed in his house? You stayed there for me? You fool! Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh! Colin! I'm so happy for you. 
Hopefully she's still finally okay. become a Britannian now, Colin. Nobody will ever be able to hurt you now, darling. And you're free to travel and use the phone anytime you want. It's an after effect of her brain. She's unable to talk much. She'll recover eventually, but it will take time. Mother, your sentence. You've got 20 years. But you wait. I'm working to change things when you get out, I swear to you. I'll make a world where you and I can live a normal life again. So please, Mother. Hang in there. Oh. Oh my god. There you have it. That was episode nine of Code Geass. Well, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this episode. You get, get we get a little, we get some calling, we get some calling of uh, a calling episode. Wow, very sad at the end, man, with, with her mother. I like I said, I, I that was crazy. I, I didn't, I had no idea. So, she lives in the house with her stepmother and her father and her mother, and her mother's the damn maid. Damn, but she stayed. But she stayed there. Just she stayed there for her. She's she's broken. Just a little, a little delirious, but you know she, she. At the end of the day, she still she know she still loves Colin, and you know Colin's trying to change things for for the better for for her and uh, her mother. Damn, the feels for this one. Uh, guys, we're rolling into this. Uh, we're going we're gonna to continue episode 10 uh, coming up next week, guys. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for joining me today on this Double Geos Friday. Thank y'all so much. What y'all thought about that? Um, you know, is any any notes, any pointers that you think I, think I probably missed or, you know, any, or what y'all thought about it personally? Uh, let me know. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll be sure to see you all in my next one. Sayonara.